Labor pain is one of the most severe pains humans can experience. Fear of this pain is one of the reasons why some women prefer to opt out of natural childbirth. Childbirth, also known as labor or delivery, is the final stage of pregnancy where one or more babies are passed through the birth canal as a series of progressive and forceful contractions of the uterus helps to push the babies out. As the cervix expands, these contractions cause aches and discomforts in the abdomen, back, and groin area. These are known as labor pains. But women experience labor pain differently during the process of childbirth. For some women, it is similar to having menstrual cramps, while for others, it can be far more painful. This experience can also be completely different every time a woman goes through childbirth. There are several factors that affect labor pain and the childbirth process. These include the type of pregnancy, the position of the baby, and any previous experiences of childbirth. The intensity of labor pain also depends on each woman's pain threshold, which refers to how much pain a person can reasonably handle. Studies also found that having an abnormal pregnancy can increase labor pain. On average, labor pain lasts around 12 to 24 hours, and in a survey, 50% of women said contractions were the most painful part of the delivery, while about 1 in 5 women said pushing or post-delivery was most painful. Also, women between the ages of 18 to 39 said post-delivery pain was most painful. The memory women experience from childbirth is short-lived, which is why 90% of surveyed women who gave birth described their experience as satisfactory three months later. There is even data that suggests simple things like hair color can affect your pain tolerance. Redheads are known to be more sensitive to some types of pain. Generally, they require 20% more anesthetics than people without red hair. However, there is no evidence yet that proves childbirth is more painful for redheads. Meanwhile, the pain from a cesarean or C-section delivery is very different from the pain of natural childbirth. A C-section is a major surgical procedure through which a baby is delivered via incisions in the abdomen and uterus. The recovery time from a C-section is much longer than from natural childbirth. Despite the increased recovery time, the number of babies being born by C-section is increasing according to a recent study, which could be interfering with natural human evolution. C-sections are leading to the birth of bigger babies and smaller birth canals in women, and it is possible that in the future, women may not be able to give birth without having a C-section, which will lead to a higher amount of more painful childbirths. In the past, larger babies and mothers with narrow pelvises had lower survival rates. As a result, genes for these traits were not passed down through generations. C-sections, however, are helping larger babies and women with smaller pelvises to survive the labor process. As a result, genes for women with smaller birth canals are now becoming more common, which is in turn increasing the need for more C-sections.